Hi, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Mercy. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And thank you for the subscriptions, the thumbs up. I'm really seeing it. Thank you so much. So today I'm going to, the last tutorial, I made a pattern like this. So today I'm going to show you how this pattern was created. So stay tuned, enjoy, relax. I get my pattern paper. For my pattern paper, I make use of either fiber or chipboard. These are sold in the market, just where they sell shoemaking materials. Ask for fiber or um, chipboard, they will give you. But for this tutorial, I'm going to make use of just plain A4 paper. So what I did was get myself a round edge, my two box, my two egg box, to get, I got, I got a round edge, this way, take a biro, I draw, I left, I draw, I take my ruler, draw a straight line like this, draw another straight line like this, okay, let's make it a little bit wider okay like this then i take my measurement tape i take my measurement tape from here to here half an inch to this place half an inch to this place half an inch then the end this way an inch an inch i will connect the line so i form an arc is it an arc just something something this way or better still i use this I, I make it round so I make this a little bit a little bit round too So let me cut out and see what we have made. So this is what we have. You can make it wider than this, depending on what you want. But for this tutorial, I use an inch and half an inch for this one. Here we go. Then for the straight, the other one is just a straight, this a strap. It could be half an inch or one inch, or but it mustn't be more than an inch. So let's make it half an inch here. Half an inch, half an inch, draw a straight line, and you go cut. Set aside. Then for the round one, oh, that is easy to go this way. You draw the full circle. Then you take another circular pattern that is wider than what you have here. I have this. Many of us in Nigeria, Africa, will know what we use this for. It's a kitchen utensil, but it can also work. <laughs> so let's use, let's do it this way.
so here we go let's cut out so this is what we have so for us to get it you um make sure that they are equal we fold into that it's equal sorry we fold into four equal halves first half two equal halves sorry then fold like this you see that there are some excesses we trim off the excess this is it so to get the middle circle what i'll do next is to remove an inch so from this first circle you know there's a pattern already there you know so i'll remove one inch here one inch one inch and another one inch one inch one inch one inch one inch then connects the circle You see how easy it is? Very easy. So, this is it. Then we look for another one and but for this pattern, you see how easy it is. Shoe making without pattern is a no-no. Yeah, for your to for, to make a perfect shoe, you have to make use of pattern. As the lecture goes, I will be introducing you to how to on how to make beautiful patterns and for footwear that you can rock any day, any time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and it has been useful to for you. If you really like the video, kindly give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel so that we can continue bringing more videos to your doorstep, and you try it also at home. Whatever you have made, you can also share with us. Uh, I will gladly look forward to seeing the footwear that you have made. Thank you. God bless you in another class. Bye.